Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby if you didn't know. Now you know, and welcome to a weekend of my life. Sweet life on deck edition, because we are on a cruise, baby. It was my one weekend free of the entire tour season. So we were like, we it's need to escape. Trip. We need to go somewhere. Yeah. And a cruise when you live in Miami is so easy. We just parked our car, went through the whole like check-in terminal thing was so fast. So easy. That was too. way easier than we expected. Yeah. And MTV, welcome to my crib for the weekend. We'll do a little a little room tour. You walk in, right there. Bathroom is here, obviously. Nothing fancy when you're on a, a boat, but we definitely wanted to go kind of all out with the room for this cruise because we're actually on this cruise now and then we take this exact same cruise for our like Top Gun staff trip in, what, like two months? So this is like our trial run, but we wanted to definitely go above and beyond for this one. So we got a nice balcony room. So pretty nice setup. Everything here with the nice mirror. I'm just happy we have a full length mirror for outfit picks, OOTDs, all of that. Got the couch where we got all of our suitcases laid out. King size bed, I believe, decent size. And well, they're cleaning our um, windows right now. So, and here's the balcony, but they're currently <laughs> on ours so i'll show you that later i guess i don't even know what are our plans for today um we're gonna go explore walk around kind of walk around, just kind see of where see. everything is yeah and we then, go to the pool are we changing it all or no i guess let's see if anything's like packed out because jlg justin loves gabby so you're just my initials actually that's funny oh that's true that's crazy <laughs> <laughs> justin loves gabby that's great <laughs> But, um, but yeah, I think we should just like walk around the ship, see what's up, maybe get a drink, and I don't know, just see what the vibe is like. I want to see if like things are packed out, because I want to see where like the less crowded areas might be versus like just coming across the pool and like trying to just like... Go to the first one we find? Yeah. You know, so let's just go explore. It's only 2.45. Yeah, so, so we really we're on time. Royal Caribbean Freedom of the Seas for the weekend. We go to Nassau tomorrow, Coco Cay Sunday, back to Miami Monday morning. Such a great weekend, though. That sounds amazing. <laughs> I know. So, follow along with whatever we're doing, because we don't really know. We walked around, explored the ship, kind of saw where everything was, and then there's honestly really, like, we got no plans. So, we don't even leave. We're still completely docked up. I don't think we leave for another, like, what time is it? Hour. An hour still? Yeah, give me So, the pool is absolutely packed. We're going to go try to find a not packed, like, dock. There's the adult only one that I think we're going to probably scope out. But this is bathing suit number one of the trip from Black Bow. We're both in our black bathing suits. And let's go get some sun. We made our way up to the sun deck. We were the only ones out here for a long, long time, which was really nice, but now everyone kind of joined to watch us sail away. We are officially moving. Saying hi to Miami, although we are currently going the wrong way from where the Bahamas is, so I'm not quite sure what's happening. But I'm gonna trust that they know what they're doing because I have no idea what I'm talking about. But what are your thoughts so far? First impressions. At first, I liked how calm it was up here. I mean, yeah. Um, For a while, we were the only ones, and now it's booked out and busy. But I just, I just like that, you know, it's, it's a very enjoyable, quick trip. It didn't really take much to get here. I love that we get to just enjoy ourselves. We, you know, had a drink. We've been chilling up here ever since, got some sun. Guys, I'm reading a book. I haven't read a book since high school. I don't know. I didn't even read in high school. Probably since like the Hunger Games came out. I'm trying to make this as relaxing as possible and I feel like reading a book just fits that. I don't know. We'll see. I'm on page 61. I, I do enjoy it. I've been sitting here on my phone <laughs> and enjoying the sun and views of Miami. Uh -huh. I wish I lived on Star Island. I know. Maybe one day. When we're like old and retired. Because I feel like I couldn't live there with like still having a life. Like you, you'd be in traffic well, yeah, to go I everywhere. Want, well, yeah, and I don't want to be there probably all the time. Just, you know, hop, hop on a flight somewhere, Miami airport's pretty close. Hop on a cruise, go somewhere. I don't know. I think I want to just be over here and not have to go there. But 
I'm enjoying it. It really is cool just being on a cruise finally. You know? And it's really only the beginning, so it's hard to say like what I'm actually thinking and you know how I feel about it when I haven't really experienced anything, but off to a great start, just lounging, hanging out. So we have hibachi reservations tonight, and I'm very that's excited. Gabby, yeah, that's all Gabby cares about, oh, I guess, oh. hibachi right now. Even though we get that, not quite often, but a decent amount of times. And that's what Gabby cares about, so. I'm already getting hungry. This is tonight's outfit. We tried to get ready to go see the sunset, but there really wasn't a sun that was setting. It was, like, super cloudy towards the horizon, so we didn't get to see much of that. But now we're just going to get ready to go. A lot of the shops are open now, and then we still have like two hours until dinner. So we're just going to kill some time, walk around. This fit is from Revolve. I haven't worn it yet, so I'm actually very excited to get to wear it. Um, I'm going to slightly get ready. I feel like my hair is kind of fine. I might like add a little braid or two in it or something, but got to throw some makeup on my face, look a little bit more presentable, and then we're just going to see where the night takes us. Here is the finished look. We're fully ready. I didn't end up doing anything with my hair because honestly it looks good and I'm just going to leave it like behind my ear. I don't think we'll be really on the deck much so I shouldn't have to worry about wind. So I think we'll be good with the hair down but makeup is done. I do have the light on right now so it's making me look a little bit better than I actually look in real life but we're just going to roll with it. I am so hungry. I'm so excited. I wish we would have booked it slightly earlier but it's okay the next hour will probably go by fast and look at this one we got the og trainers out finally well you wore them what christmas yeah but that's all they need to be worrying about <laughs> don't worry about nothing else sweetheart just that split dinner fits night one this was the best we could do to like Match. correlate mm -hmm. the outfits because I don't really have anything that color yeah I packed so. this one first and then we were like you have literally nothing that even matches that wouldn't clash besides just black, black and white, white. So that's what we're going looks with. good though yeah at least I'm the white shoes bring out like the white in your top at least so yeah. it's the best we could do it For works now. yeah where are we going shopping go look around possibly go shopping yeah and then maybe they'll just let us eat early we couldn't wait any longer, walked around the casino a little bit, just explore the ship. Nothing to really shop for, so we sat down uh, with all of our friends here. We're about 20 minutes early, but they told us we could sit and they brought us some edamame, so. We're not 15 minutes early today. Right? Sure, we got the best seats in the house, so. Honestly, yeah, I'm going to have you pull up a little bit early because if we were out on that side, a lot less space. So, <laughs> everything is very you will quite literally never guess how tonight has gone. So, first of all, <laughs> we're at Hibachi, which was good. For, for Hibachi on a cruise ship, it was good. He's a prima donna, and he's going to say it was all right. that it wasn't. I mean, it, it wasn't our favorite Hibachi, but, like, for Hibachi on the ship, it satisfied my cravings. Um, and, you know, technically, it's our anniversary. Technically. Not our, like, dating anniversary, but it's two years of us, like, first initiating it, if anything. But, like, anytime they ask you at the beginning if it's your birthday or your anniversary, always say yes. Especially anniversary. Because you can't prove anything. And there's always something free in there. So, like, we say it's our anniversary quite often. But we said it was our anniversary. So, dinner's done. And we get our own little cake. And they sing, literally, the tune of happy birthday. And they just sing happy, happy anniversary. anniversary. So, we do that. And then there's another couple where there's a birthday, so they sing happy birthday to him. And then all of a sudden, we get to the other couple that said it was their eight-year anniversary. And we're sitting there, and all of a sudden, come <laughs> tell the story with me. All of a sudden... We see a speaker going. So we see the guy light the candle on the little, like, tiramisu cake. Which, but we it's the exact same we got. We see a light-up speaker start to go. We see the lady grab his phone from his hand. And I look and at like him. And, like, start I recording. I say... I and and at that propose. point, and at that point, we kind of like, was, knew what was going to happen. Ed and then Sheeran, we were like, 
I found a love. Yeah. For, like, you know, one of those songs that you just kind of knew what was happening. He proposed I at the hibachi, hibachi table. Spot, like, 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 it was a cute moment. I, I don't want to judge them, but I looked at him. He said, oh, don't get any ideas. And I said, you don't get any ideas. Like, I love hibachi. You better not ever propose to me at the hibachi table. I would never. There was no speech. I don't even think, like, the, the cake said, our cake said, like, happy anniversary, Justin and Gabby. His cake said, like, will you marry me? But that was it. He didn't ask her. He yeah, didn't give he, a speech. I don't think, he said anything to her besides, I don't think like, she said yes. She put the ring on. And that was it. And just, like, in awe. And just our hibachi table was there, like, just celebrating the moment. But, like, that's not what I expected. That somehow always happens to us. Right, because it happened in Hawaii, too. Happened in Hawaii. Happened here. It was a crazy moment. But then... We actually know people on the ship, which is kind of crazy because none of that was planned. So we ended up just going to the sports bar with them, hanging out, played a few rounds of pool. We played foosball. Honestly, the sports bar is probably where we're going to be spending most of our time when we're not doing anything, probably. I feel like that's the most our vibe. It's kind of in the middle of, like, everything. But we said we were going to have an early night, and now it's 103. So, we should figure out what we're doing tomorrow. Yeah, we have no idea. We dock up in Nassau tomorrow. We have Coco K completely planned, which is like the third day. We have no idea what we're doing tomorrow. Obviously, we've already done Nassau like well, luckily, last year. Yeah, it's not like that. When we went to, to Atlantis, so like. But we didn't get to walk around and do like the local stuff, so I'm down for that. Yeah. I don't know. We, we looked like, up like where we're going to port at, and it's like it's a good spot. Like everything's all right there. But uh, we could head over to Margaritaville, could go to Atlantis. Atlantis is just so expensive for no yeah, reason. Yeah, they let you buy like an Atlantis day pass for like the water park, and it is insane. Almost fucking two hundred fifty dollars for, like, for one person. Like, I'm sorry, I know like, Atlantis the, is really the nice. Amenities but... of it is nice. Like, we just want to go to the beach behind Atlantis. That's what I'm saying. Like, you'd have to buy the day pass to like even be allowed premises. back there. I think so. I don't know what we're doing. We'll we're gonna figure it out. out. And then we'll update you and let you know tomorrow. I cannot wait to get cozy Ugh. and lay down. One of my favorite shorts to sleep in. Hat. I'm so... Should we, like... What do you think the, like, balcony's like? You think it's scary out there right now? No, we could have to head out there really quick. Like, just... It's just pitch black outside. I feel like I'm in, like, a... Like, I don't even know, honestly. I feel like I'm in, like, a mini city fake vibe. Like, I, it's like... I don't feel like I'm on a boat. I feel like it's we're just... It, yeah. Like, it's so weird, because, like, you realize, and you're like, wait a second, like, I'm just fucking out here. You feel it when you sit down. Anytime I'm standing, I don't feel the rocking, and that's why I felt it when I was doing my makeup. Really? And then, as we were playing pool, I felt nothing. I sat down after, you're like, and Whoa. then you, like, feel the little bit of, like, and you're like, oh, yeah, I'm on a boat. Now, rock, 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 slide, but twist, one, two, three, go, that. But motion puts me to sleep so fast, so I cannot wait for that tonight. Anyway, overall today, solid first day. It really was. It was fun. I think it's yeah, we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. morning. Day two on the ship. We are docked up in Nassau this morning. Our we're like one of the last ones off the ship, but our alarm went off at nine today, and we both were like, mm, uh, not yet. Early, yeah. <laughs> so we took like an extra twenty minutes, but we don't really have plans today, so it's fine. We're just kind of going with the flow. We obviously like already explored Nassau when we were here on vacation last year. So, we are kind of just going to see where the day takes us. Right. Probably just end up at a beach eventually, but explore a little bit. Kind of do the things that we didn't get to do last time. I'm in a Kulani Kini's bikini today, and then this romper's from Amazon, actually, and it is so cute. Woke up and got coffee this morning to start our day. Had some coffee on the balcony, and now we're just packing up. I got a bunch of outfit changes for the day. Obviously, so we can get multiple pictures. Makes sense. And let's go somewhere, I guess. Well, I think we're going to go get breakfast first before we get off the ship. And then we'll be, well, we're already in the Bahamas, but we'll be exploring the Bahamas. So you know how I said that we were going to do everything that we didn't do the last time we were here? I completely lied. We ended up back at Atlantis. <laughs> we just, we couldn't resist. We called the life hack, I guess. We called Atlantis instead of booking through Royal Caribbean though and saved like over $100, which was great between the two of us because they said that the day pass to Atlantis was like 2.30 something each. 
and it ended up only being like 190 each so we decided to come back because we love it so much and honestly we were just craving like these specific places again so it was worth it to us so we're spending the day at atlantis we got a nice little day pass we were hanging out this is like justin's favorite spot from the last time we were here it's just like the fake like man-made beach that just overlooks like all of atlantis which it is beautiful so this is our first spot of the day and then we are going to i think head to probably like the actual beach but beautiful weather the sun like literally just came out which was perfect timing we're just gonna hang out i'm so honestly it's like almost been a year since we've been back here so much has changed so nice. but it's yeah so like kind of what? like <laughs> nothing at all <laughs> just like i don't that was our first trip together last year oh, and now it's like life. yeah no nothing of atlantis has changed but i mean honestly nothing of life has really changed either but it just feels crazy that it's almost been a year already since we've been here the for the first time I'm so happy we did this. Now we came over to the other beach and just, I probably won't even do it justice in the camera, but look at how blue and calm the water is. But Justin just went to go grab us some drinks. I was craving a Shirley Temple. So he went to go do that. And we still got like over three hours to be here. So I thought time was gonna go by fast since we didn't end up getting here until like 11.30, but Still a solid chunk of the day. Went to the little beach market by the beach, got these cute little bracelets. And now we're just walking around Marina Village at Atlantis. Probably gonna head back to the ship soon. We're kinda kinda got cooked today. Like the, mm, a little too much sun. So we're probably gonna head back and just grab lunch and relax for a little bit, even though that's all we've been doing today is relaxing, but sitting in the air conditioning, hanging out because we yeah uh, this the sun was sun was hot today we are officially back on the ship today was amazing but uh you know i definitely got a little toasty the plan for today was to get like a nice base and then tomorrow we can fry because like i don't really care because the last day i think plans worked a little bit backwards because i'm a little fried today guys i swear Someone teach me how to do my natural hair because like, I think I might have curly hair. Those are like such pretty waves, but I swore forever I had straight hair, but I think it's just when I brush it. Anyway, Atlantis was beautiful as always. And then made it back on the ship and then we went right to like the pool deck for the like Fiesta bar lunch, which honestly hit the spot. We had chicken quesadillas and then we just got like a smorgasbord of rice meats everything all on the side and then the free ice cream really hit right after lunch but now we're all just here with all the cruise ships at the port we got a few there i think there's one more on the other side that is new one i wish we were facing atlantis atlantis is on the other side but oh, definitely one of our favorite places i mean we've only been to a couple together but Atlantis is always magical. I don't really know when we take off. I think like everyone is officially boarded now, but I don't really know. We don't have dinner. It's only 4.50 right now. We don't have dinner until 8.30. We don't really have plans until then, which is kind of nice because yeah, the sun kind of drained me out. I'm not going to lie. It was a beautiful day though, but that's your update. Everything's going great so far. We ended up sitting on the balcony for a little bit, kind of watching the sunset as we sailed away from Nassau. And then we took a fat nap because the sun was draining today, but that's also totally fine because we had nothing to do anyway. So I like edited through pictures for a little bit. My sunburn, I think, has slightly evened out since the last time you saw it, at least. It's not as like, <sighs> it's pretty bad. It's not as like harsh lines anymore, I feel like. Oh no. And like the sunscreen on my face worked wonders because my face does not match the rest of my body right now. But we are getting ready for dinner tonight. It's gonna be our first time going to the actual dining hall because we have not done that yet. We had obviously hibachi last night. And then I will say though, they're all inclusive like meal selection so far. They're two for two on because breakfast this morning was honestly phenomenal. 
and we got there like pretty late so i was expecting everything to not be like fresh or like crispy and hot and it was honestly so good the hash browns were still extremely crispy so it was a great great breakfast and then the like quesadillas we had for lunch were truly so good so i'm excited for dinner tonight it is caribbean night on the ship so i mean it says like attire for tonight is caribbean but i don't does this count honestly it's giving pirates of the caribbean which i don't know why i say caribbean when i say certain things but then if i say pirates of the caribbean i say caribbean but it's the same word right does anyone else do that but like it's giving pirate so i think it works but I don't know exactly what I'm going to eat tomorrow. I believe tomorrow when we get to Coco K, we have like our day already figured out and reserved. And I want to say we get steak and lobster for lunch there. So although the steak looks good, I feel like I shouldn't get steak for dinner tonight if we're going to do it for lunch tomorrow. There is a pesto pasta. And you guys know, I don't think I'll be able to pass that up. But something about like the shrimp also looks kind of good. So I'm not exactly sure yet. Maybe I'll swing a deal with Justin once he figures out what he wants and we'll kind of like get two things and then share. I don't know how to make my face match the rest of my body right now because my chest is bright red. So I don't think I can do anything about that except add a little bit of blush and some bronzer and hope it doesn't look as crazy as it does right now. Possibly. But there's no... I don't want to put a lot of makeup on either. I'm just kind of evening out my skin but I think tonight after dinner we're gonna go check out like the club on the ship don't know what that's all about we kind of just want to see what it's like see if they're playing good music or anything go hang out I want to do karaoke but I don't know where karaoke is we didn't end up seeing it last night so I'm not sure where on the ship it is might have to scope that out and then I think we're gonna try to have an earlier night tonight so that we can have an earlier day tomorrow and get off the ship like basically as soon as we get to Coco Cay to really take in the whole day we should also I believe have like some sort of a chair and umbrella situation tomorrow so I should have access to shade which will be way better than today I was just totally out in the sun the entire time but it has been a great time honestly like now I'm craving I mean luckily we do this I'm pretty sure we do the exact same cruise in at the end of May but I really want to do like a long cruise, like a week long cruise where you go a whole bunch of different places. And I, I almost kind of wish, like as much as I love obviously getting off and going to the Bahamas, I kind of want to like have a day on the ship as we're like sailing to different ports and just enjoy the ship and everything. Like we haven't even gone to the ship's pool yet, although I'm not too bad about it because it is crowded. I think that's pretty much all I'm going to do with my makeup. I'm going to throw on mascara and call it a day so i will i guess just vlog dinner we'll see how it is and i'll keep you updated on what i get i need to chug water at dinner like three glasses at least we're doing pretty good because we are like five minutes in and we're on glass number two of water i forgot that this is all like sharing dining style and i forgot we weren't here last night so we have no idea who's at our table it took us forever to find our table waitress seems super cool super fun but we still have one, two, three, four other people at our table that aren't here yet. We'll see if they show up. Oh, Maybe no. not. Maybe we'll just have the table to ourselves. But I did end up getting Caesar salad, pesto pasta, and then we're sharing the brownie and ice cream. And then he got jump coconut shrimp, steak, and then the dessert. Looks good. The garlic butter. to update you because i wasn't planning on coming back to the room but we took a little bathroom chill break for two seconds i'm freezing i think it's a sunburn because i wore less clothes yesterday and i was totally fine but i'm very red very cold today but very red dinner ended up being a lot of fun. fun yeah a lot of fun we were at we like got there we were the first at the table obviously we like weren't there yesterday because we had hibachi so we had to find our table we sat down and there was four other people like placemats there but like no one was there yet and we were like 
oh no. Like, you never know what you're going to get, you know? Right. And especially on this cruise, I feel like there's not, like, the demographic is not really our age group. But, and then a couple walks up that's definitely older, and they see us sitting at the table, and they look to someone else, and they're like, can we sit somewhere by ourselves? <laughs> like, kind of snobby. And we were like, you know what? We don't want you sitting here anyway. You can come in. Well, I just can't fit, honestly, because, like, if I like, stand right here, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm completely out of frame. Is that better? Yeah. So then two guys end up pulling up, and they were a great time. Like, yeah, great conversation. Like awesome people. Honestly, I feel like best case scenario for who could have sat at our table. For sure. We were definitely worried at first, and I was just like, damn, like, I don't want, like, just random, like, awkward people sitting next to us, but they turned out to be great. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I got their number, I got their social media, and, like, we Super just, fun. like, yeah, chopped it up and had a really good time. They're awesome people, so. So what are we doing now? Are we doing the casino or are we doing the club? We'll go to the casino first. Okay. And then we'll pull up to the club, probably with them, um, and then just Look be there for, like, an hour. friends. Get some drinks and... Always have him. a good night. But that was your update. For it was, sure. turned out to be a way better night than I expected just at dinner. So yeah, honestly, I'm really Things thankful for the two people that sat with us because mm -hmm. they definitely made dinner a lot better. So yeah, good times. Yeah. Good morning. It's the next day. Um, we did go to the casino last night, except we played for like, what well, we Justin played blackjack for. How long were we there? Like an hour and a half, maybe? I don't know. Like, time time does not exist when you're sitting at the blackjack table, right? But <laughs> we kind of did all that for nothing because he ended up at least breaking even, so... Okay, wait, well, breaking even is still a win, technically, I because mean, yes. if you don't lose anything, then... But it's like, know? if you didn't walk into the casino, you would have had the same amount of money. That's very true. We can't look at it like that because it's <laughs> the fun of the game. Like, Gabby actually played... The very last hand. Because we were, like, going to go anyway, so he's like, here, just take a chip. I was down 50 in. bucks. Started with 200. I was down 50, so I was at 150, and then I had her sit down. We both put 25 dollar bets. We both hit, so that's how I broke even. And I was like, honestly, we should have stayed, but I knew we had to wake up early today, and she was already tired, so we dipped. But it is what it we'll is. probably go back tonight. No, what do you mean? especially probably. because we're definitely going back, baby. We're gonna run up that lucky made, yours. He made friends oh. at the table, people that like actually knew how to play back blackjack. So. I feel like then he was getting in his groove. Yeah, that's the worst because yeah. like when people like I understand like the objective is to get, get close 21, to twenty one like personally, but like you gotta understand too, right? If the dealer's showing low cards, like they have to hit, so you want them to bust, so then obviously the table can win. And just some people can't understand that. You know, they'll hit on like a fifteen and a sixteen. I know that's like, you know, fifty fifty. You might get lucky with that card, but it's like you pull a face card and the dealer's literally showing a fourteen, they bust, you win automatically. So it's like people that don't know how to play the game. It's kind of frustrating because, like, one, you're never going to tell somebody else what to do with their money. And, like, I understand that. But it's, like, we're all trying to accomplish the same thing. Like, you know, we have to... Right, really it's not like you versus them. It's right. Like everyone versus Everyone versus the dealer. dealer. So it's just, like, it was a little frustrating. But towards the end, there was, like, five of us that were doing our thing. And that's when everybody started winning, yeah. you know? So it's... <laughs> that's people, though, so... But today, yesterday was our orange day. Today is our blue day. This set is so cute. Facts, it does look good. And it's honestly, from Amazon. I can't believe this shirt matches as well as it does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Set is Amazon. Uh, bikini is triangle. We're wearing our matching. Teal blue today. And we're going to go hit up breakfast, which I'm actually excited about because yesterday's breakfast was, was so good. good. Yeah, I'm very proud you of had... you. You normally don't eat this early. I know. So. But I, I knew I had to because I knew that, well, today we're getting lunch. Yesterday we weren't getting mm -hmm. lunch, but we'll eat something of some sort. You had the coffee yesterday, right? Yeah. Was there, like, ice cubes next to it at all? Could I make iced coffee? Um, well, there was the soft drinks, so, like, or, like, juices and stuff. So there had to have been an ice machine, right? I mean, a thousand percent. Okay. I don't see why there wouldn't I really want. We went to Starbucks yesterday, but I didn't feel like I needed to do that today, so I'm going to try to make an iced coffee just at breakfast. <laughs> That's going to South Beach with basketball court. Floating bar and volleyball court. That's awesome. Yes, nice. If you have a cabana <laughs> to the west side of the Long <laughs> Beach Club, <laughs> you can see that. Uh, <laughs> close to Coco Beach Club, the South Beach. We finally made it to Coco Beach Club. We took a little tram over here from like Coco Cay Port getting off the cruise, and this is beautiful. So we got like. All the little chairs, umbrellas, just the aesthetic of everything. Like the palm trees are so perfectly placed. And beach access. I wonder if we got those. The little overwater bungalows with the slides. 
Might need to figure that out, but we got strawberry, pineapple mojito ready to go. We need to sunscreen up majorly, but this is absolutely beautiful. Like I'm so excited to just lay here all day. We brought, well, we made it to a sandbar. We got these little like lay down rafts thing, which has been amazing. And I brought out everything. everything. everything you <laughs> we, we put the tripod on the floaty. I brought a whole bathing suit out to make a quick change. We got the 360 camera, but it's so nice out here. We're just hanging out. We made lunch reservations at two, but it's literally only like 12.30. So we still got lots of time to just hang out and chill. I'm getting cold. my skin today guys so this is i think still from yesterday but definitely got a little too much sun throughout the weekend but i just think i haven't been in the sun at all hardly lately so and like a lot of fresh skin but we are getting ready for our last night although i don't think i really want to wear this to dinner i think i'm gonna wear this to we're gonna go hopefully if this one wakes up from his nap go watch the sunset on like the deck and we haven't played mini golf yet since we've been on the ship. And it's like six o'clock right now. So the whole first wave of people just all went to dinner. So I'm hoping it's not gonna be crowded. We're gonna try to play a little mini golf and then head to dinner, which is Italian tonight. But oh my God, the lunch at Coco Beach Club was the best steak and lobster I've, I truly think I've ever had. The best lobster tail I've ever had for sure. That I know for a fact. It was just absolutely phenomenal. And if there's one thing about this weekend, we have had the best waiters and waitresses the entire time. Like they have been phenomenal everywhere we've gone. So that was definitely a huge plus, but I'm so excited that we get to do this whole cruise over again in like two months because we've generally had the best time. And especially for only being here for a weekend, I feel like we've done so much and it's truly been very worth it. I don't really want to put a lot of makeup on my face, so we're just going to do a little bit for right now. I don't know what to do with my hair because it's giving very beachy, but like the top of my head just does not want to lay right. So I'm not quite sure what to do with it. I have this flower claw clip that like doesn't really go to be honest i have two that are on like the total opposite spectrum so this one's a little bit more purple then i have one that's slightly more orange and i feel like i just don't have one that actually matches exactly so i don't really know what i'm doing with my hair i was gonna do like a slicked back updo but like the actual texture of my hair is kind of nice right now so maybe i'll do a ponytail i don't know we'll figure it out but i just wanted to update you and say today was amazing and I am sad that it's our last night, but I'm also just very excited to have one more night. There's no way. Haul time. We went to the gift shop. Um, mainly because we yeah, had we to get... Nothing. Well, I got the shot glass. You didn't get nothing. You guys know. We always get a shot glass every time we go somewhere new. We wanted to find a Coco K one. But I don't think there was a gift shop anywhere, and we already have a Nassau one from Atlantis. So, we got just a Royal Caribbean one, because it's our first cruise, so still works. Um, this was the only selection they had, but it's it's cute, you know. It's a shot glass. You take this off, and it's just a plain, clear shot glass, but that's okay. It does the job. That's all we need. Put your right foot in. Your Justin got that crew neck that he had on, and then uh, two t-shirts. And... That's it. Bingo's happening right now. I'm kind of sad we're missing out on it. Tempted to go and show up, but I feel like we'll have a disadvantage if we show up late because they've already called so many numbers. So I think we're just going to hang out until dinner. Is that the plan? You got to get ready? It's my plan. Are you going to lay down again? What do you want me to do? Stand up? <laughs> For an hour? Like, I'm confused. 
Yeah, we have like still almost an hour to kill, so. What do you mean? We do have an hour to kill. Okay, we do have an hour 30? to kill. Yeah. We have an hour to kill of relaxing. I cannot believe we get off the ship in the morning. It's been so much fun. And that was the last clip that I ended up vlogging. We just ended up going to dinner and then we went to casino that night for a while and then just went to bed and got off the ship the next morning. We seriously had the best time ever. That was the perfect weekend getaway. It felt so much longer than a weekend. Like, I feel like we did so much. It was amazing. It was the best thing I could have asked for for my one weekend off. So I don't want to make this video any longer. It's already like over 30 minutes. So I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a big like, comment down below, subscribe, turn your post notifications on, all that. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.